What's up everybody, Drew here. Today's video, I'm giving you a tutorial on how to use Photoshare.co. This is Luma Booth's hosting website. So whenever someone uses the photo booth, those photos get saved on Photoshare. This is a must watch video if you plan on using Luma Booth. Before we get to the tutorial, however, if you wanna sign up for Luma Booth and you want a discount and you want a group chat support access from Photo Booth 101, in the description is a link to sign up. If you buy it for the year, it's $195 at the moment. Then what you do is you sign up, you send me a DM, or you email me at photobooth101info at gmail. I will send you uh, that link. So get some popcorn, get some notes ready. So we're gonna dive into photoshare.co. Let's go. The photoshare.co, that's F-O-T-O-S-H-A-R-E dot C-O. Not com, it's dot co. So once you go here, you want to go to login. Now you're going to enter your Luma Booth credentials. Whatever email you're using, whatever password you're using, that's where you use it here. And now you will see all of the events you've created, um, whether it's a test event, this Kate and Jack's wedding, which we've all heard of, but no one's been to, uh, <laughs> all the way up to your latest ones. So if you want to delete events, you could literally delete them here. Deleting photos is fairly easy here too. So let's just say, we'll go to this one right here, which says Kate Culture. I'm gonna show you guys how to delete a photo. What I love about it is you could delete multiple. All right, up top, you go to delete. Boom, just like that. So if you have test photos, right, you'd go all the way to the bottom, you'd find the test photo, then, you know, you could do it like this as well. And I, I wanna stress out, when you're deleting photos from PhotoShare, you're only deleting them here. So if you think deleting this is gonna travel to the iPad, it's not. Meaning, you know, those photos you take, and everything else will be still saved on the iPad. And if you're using the browse gallery on the welcome screen, the photos will still show there too. And real quick, if you wanna get rid of those, you have to duplicate the event. That's, uh, I know a lot of people will literally do test photos and once they're ready to launch, they'll duplicate it and then all of the settings will transfer. So now moving forward, right? Let's, let's, let's talk about some more stuff here. We're gonna go to the, the side where it says privacy. Um, link sharing. So if you want to share a link to your clients, right, before or after the event, you have to make sure this is selected. So you can go to where it says link. Boom, now this, this, this address here, will bring the client to have access to all of these photos. If you enable the uh, download all button like that, then there will be an option to download all of the photos. Moving um, above right here where it says guest access. Um, you know, there is a big debate in the community if this is something you should have on or off. And basically what this means is if it's checked, right? And someone uses the photo booth, let's just say they put their phone number in, they have access to all of these other photos could be useful if you have somebody right like let's just say let's just say this person right here right? this person is in multiple photos so if they have the link they can just go through and find all of the photos of themselves however you know if you have the, the guest access enabled someone may take a photo that's a little bit private and not really like everyone else to go see that photo it could be a couple kissing or, or whatever so in my opinion I think it's better to leave it off if they want the other photos they can ask the client the person that paid you for that uh, that photo album link there so now uh, I've talked about this before in a different video now let's talk about getting the phone numbers and email addresses from your event you would go up here it says shares boom everything you'll have there if you want you can download a PDF just by clicking PDF that will bring you to, boom, just like that, everything. So you can use this information to market and get more people to use your photo booth. Um, you could download it as an, uh, CV, uh, sorry, a CSV file. Honestly, I have no idea what that is. I just am familiar with, uh, <laughs> I'm just familiar with this. So uh, again, too, look, if you're on here, you can always go and change the event name if you'd like. And then also it gives you the, the date here um, show event date, that's something that you can check. Allow guests to see when the date is taken um, on the guest screen. Um, right here where it says analytics, this isn't something you get with the free version of PhotoShare. You literally have to um, upgrade to get this. Uh, but again, you don't have to pay for PhotoShare. 
but I mean I mean this with the bottom of my heart. If you really want to take this business serious, I really do think it is a good idea to um, update. And then there is an option here for a slideshow, which is pretty cool. So if you wanted to uh, ever use this, I mean, I, I don't think I've ever had a chance to use this where I needed to, but that is an option. So that is pretty much everything I wanted to go about and show you guys on PhotoShare. This is a basic tutorial. These are questions I get asked all of the time. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching this video. And again, if you want to sign up for Luma Booth at a discount for the year, that'll be in the description. Also, if you want to get started in the business and you want to do business with the best business, that will be Photo Booth 101. That is my company. We sell photo booth equipment from iPad booths, 360 booth, DSLR iPad booths, backdrops, printer. We have so much to offer. So that'll also be down in the description. Thank you. God bless. See you soon.